Hey guys, Taylor here with another video. While soundbars are a thing that most people don't think about when it comes to gaming, they can be a huge advantage. Good sound can help you pinpoint enemy footsteps, explosions, and other key audio cues that can give you the edge in competitive play. But what if the speakers on your PC or TV just aren't cutting it? Well, that's where a gaming soundbar comes in. Now, with that said, there are so many different models and makes of soundbars out there that it can be hard to know which ones are the best for gaming and which ones might be right for you in your particular situation. Don't worry, we've done tons of research and today we're going to be bringing you some of our favorite choices of soundbars for gaming. Now, as always, I'll leave links to each of these products in the description below, so feel free to check them out if you're interested. Also, if I happen to find any discounts, deals, or coupon codes, I'll drop those down below for you as well. So starting off, we have the best overall soundbar for gaming, and that's going to be the Creative Sound Blaster X Katana. It has RGB, and that's all the gamers need, right? Just kidding. Now, if you're a fan of PC gaming, chances are you've heard of Creative before. They make some of the best gaming headsets and other PC gaming peripherals on the market, and the same goes for their soundbars. The Sound Blaster X Katana is one of the few soundbars on the market that's specifically designed for gaming. As a result, it has a bunch of features that are geared towards giving you the best gaming experience possible. So one such feature is the Blaster X Acoustic Engine Lite. This is a suite of audio processing technologies that are designed to improve gaming audio. You can select different audio profiles for different types of games, and you can even customize the EQ to get the perfect sound for your particular setup. Now, I use it for FPS games myself, and have to say the difference is night and day. With the Blaster X Acoustic Engine Lite, I can hear enemy footsteps a lot better, and that gives me a huge advantage in competitive games like Halo Infinite and Call of Duty. The Blaster X Katana also comes with Dolby Digital 5.1 decoding, which is great for movies and TV shows. While most video games don't support it, the Blaster X Katana makes up for it with its virtual 7.1 surround sound. This simulates the effect of having seven separate speakers around you, and it really makes a difference in terms of immersion. In terms of connectivity, you have plenty of options including Bluetooth, aux in, USB, a headphone jack, and optical input. There's no HDMI port, but you can connect the soundbar to a PC or gaming console via the included USB cable. The Blaster X Katana also comes with a remote, so you can control everything from a distance, and there are button controls on the soundbar itself, so you can make adjustments on the fly. There's also a large wired external subwoofer, which really helps add some thump to the explosions and other low-end sounds. And of course, we cannot overlook the RGB lighting on the soundbar. While it has no bearing on audio performance, it does look really cool, and is a great way to add some style to your gaming setup. You can also customize the lighting effects to match your other RGB devices using the Sound Blaster Connect software. Now, if we have to be picky, the only downsides that we could find on the Sound Blaster X Katana are its short cables, which might be an issue for some setups. There's no support for Atmos and DTSX, and the subwoofer isn't wireless, so cable management can be a pain. Still, these are minor nitpicks in an otherwise excellent soundbar. All in all, the Creative Soundbar X Katana is the best soundbar that you can buy for gaming. While there are always better sounding soundbars out there, especially at higher price ranges, none give you the same gaming specific features and benefits as the Blaster X Katana. Next up is our best budget pick for gaming soundbars, which is no other than the Dell AC511. The Dell AC511 is a 2.0 channel soundbar, which means it doesn't come with a separate subwoofer. Power is supplied via USB, so you can plug it into a TV or monitor and you're good to go. As you might imagine, it makes it very simple to set up and use, and it's also very budget friendly. So much so that Amazon classifies it as a computer speaker. Still, there's no denying that the Dell AC511 is a soundbar in both form and function. For less than $40, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that some of the other gaming soundbars have, but it gets the job done. Now, in terms of audio performance, the Dell AC511 comes with two 1.25 watt stereo speakers. That may not sound like much, but considering that it's designed to sit directly below a monitor and that you'd be sitting close to it, the 2.5 watts of stereo power is more than enough for most users. The sound quality is actually pretty good for its price range with a frequency response of 80 Hz to 20 kHz. It doesn't have the same bass response as some of its more expensive counterparts, but the mids and highs are clear and well defined. So another thing that we liked about the Dell AC511 is that you can mount it directly below your computer monitor using the integrated T-bracket. This conserves desk space and it also looks much neater than having a bunch of speakers scattered around your gaming setup. Do note, however, that you can only do this on compatible monitors like the Dell E and P series ultra sharp monitors. Of course, given its low price point, you can expect some compromises, one of which is its build quality. The Dell AC511 is made entirely out of plastic, so it doesn't feel as solid and premium as some of the other soundbars in this video. Another downside is that it doesn't come with a remote, so you'll have to make any adjustments to the soundbar itself. Lastly, since it's a 2.0 channel system, there's no support for Atmos or DTS-X. Also, there's no Bluetooth and your connectivity options are limited to an aux input and a headphone jack. 
Still, if you're looking for an affordable and easy to use gaming soundbar, the Dell AC511 is the one to get. It offers decent audio performance and minimalist design in a budget-friendly package. Last but not least is our pick for the best soundbar for console gaming, and that's going to be the Polk Audio Magnify Mini. Console gaming is different in that you're usually sitting further away from the TV, so you need a soundbar that can project sound further and fill a larger room. Now the Polk Audio Magnify Mini does just that, in a small and unobtrusive form factor. It's one of the smallest soundbars that you can buy, measuring just over 13 inches wide. But don't let its size fool you. The Magnify Mini is packing some serious audio firepower. Powering the soundbar are two 1-inch tweeters and four 2.5-inch woofers. That's a total of six speakers, which is more than what most soundbars have. Combined with Polk Audio's advanced voice control technology, the Magnify Mini is capable of delivering clear and immersive sound at any volume. Now, one feature that we really liked and that made us want to include this soundbar in our list is the Polk Audio Surround Bar Mode. When activated, it simulates a 7.1 surround sound system using the soundbar and subwoofer. And speaking of subwoofers, the Magnify Mini comes with a wireless one for that extra bit of bass. And unlike some of the other soundbars, the subwoofer is actually small and compact enough that you can place it almost anywhere in your room without it looking out of place. That makes it perfect for a living room gaming setup when space can be at a premium. Now as for connectivity, the Magnify Mini has you covered with both wired and wireless options. It supports Bluetooth and Wi-Fi streaming, so you can wirelessly stream audio when listening to music or playing games from a smartphone or tablet. There's also HDMI ARC and optical input for connecting to your TV or gaming console, and standard 3.5mm aux input for other devices. Another feature that we really liked about the Magnify Mini is its dialogue enhancement feature, which also makes voices clearer and easier to understand without raising the overall volume. This is extremely useful in games where there's a lot of dialogue, such as story-driven games or RPGs. As for the downside, well, we did find a few that are worth considering if you're thinking about getting the Polk Audio Magnify Mini. Firstly, its HDMI ARC input only works with HDTVs. This makes the soundbar less versatile as you won't be able to use it with a PC and older TVs that don't have HDMI ARC. Another downside is that the Magnify Mini is a bit lacking in the bass department. The included subwoofer does help to improve things, but it's still not as punchy as we would like. Still, if you're getting this soundbar to improve the sound of your TV or monitor speakers, then the bass you'll get from this subwoofer will be a nice improvement. As a matter of fact, less bass can actually be an advantage in competitive gaming. This is because you'll be able to hear footsteps and other subtle audio cues that can give you an upper hand. Still, it would be nice if the soundbar was versatile enough for both console gaming and listening to bass heavy music. Overall, the Polk Audio Magnify Mini is the best soundbar you can buy for console gaming. At its price point of less than $300, you're getting a well-built soundbar with great features and superb audio quality. You're not going to find a better soundbar for console gaming, especially at this price range. So that wraps up our list of the best soundbars to buy for gaming. We hope that you found this video helpful in finding the perfect soundbar for your gaming needs. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have as best we can. And while we're down there, also let us know what other products you're currently on the hunt for. Our team would love to help you on that search too. What should we cover in future videos? And of course, if you enjoyed our video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. We've got lots more videos coming your way, so we look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, stay awesome. Bye.